see what this gym looks like. Tires are so so. Well, that's something I've never seen before. Auger is really good. Chopper knives are good. Back tires are shot. 4400 gas. And the fuel leak it appears. Tires are so so. Couple of belts probably need to be replaced. And loading auger's good. Definitely not a 216. Real is rough at best. No rotary screen. That's different. Yeah, give it a rest. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve. Let's right, so look, see if they made a two twelve. It's a small head. That has me very curious why those are on it. And it's funny, Dad's 4400. Uh, it's got two different back tires on it. You'd knock your brains out on that auger right there. The rest of it's pretty good. Got a little hole there. To be expected. Uh, how you like that? Missing the couplers. Has the spring assist. See what it looks like. Uh. What we got? Twenty-six one thousand 
thousand, twelve, thirteen hundred dollar machine. I think that's something different. Very clean. Paperwork in it. Has the indicator hooked. Uh, fan, about it. Don't even know if it's got a heater. <laughs> Door shut's good. Reel needs to be replaced. It's just too barred. Looks like a new sickle. Guards are really good. Down on the wobble box needs changed. Needs the poly worked on it appears. Yep. Need the poly kit on the head. Uh New parts. Auger's not perfect. It's got a patch or two in it. In loading auger. Main drives look pretty good. Got a patch down there on the side for some reason. Okay, overall impressions. Uh, combine does not appear to be in pretty good shape, all things considered. Uh, that sprocket needs to be replaced, which really ain't that big of a deal. Tack up there showing like 1300 hours. Uh, you know, how good is that? I don't know. Uh, rest wise, not bad. It's been repainted, you can tell that. But overall, machine wise, it seems to be pretty decent. Has the spring assist under it. Um, which is not a bad thing. A couple more springs and make it work a whole lot better, but concerns is one is this head right here, kind of dorked up. I don't know how you would do that, but apparently it can be. Uh, the real fingers are shot. Obviously. Uh, needs a poly kit under it. But as the machine goes, it appears to be pretty straight. Uh, BF Goodrich tires that are... Oh, they're weather checked. Back tire is shot, rim is shot for that. 
I've never seen this done before. Don't know why you would want that. Chopper's in pretty good condition. Uh, don't know what that's all about. That thing is beat to death. Auger is in actually pretty good shape. It's going to need a patch there, obviously. And probably one right there. Underside here has been patched before. There's rust, but it's got a poly plate put in it. Belts are pretty good over here. Uh, had the bearing on the cylinder changed. You can tell that. That requires a little looking into, maybe. Uh, the unloading auger. Uh, here, flange has been busted out and they've welded a bearing in there and you can see the races, the race. So that's going to have to be fixed. Serial number 2958. Well, that's an old one. That's one of the first ones built. So use an old machine, but tomorrow I will find more out about this. Forty-nine, thirty-eight, thirty-five. Uh, not a bad old machine. I'll give it credit. And I believe that is the header cart for it right there. a dandy hay wagon nice and low to the ground <laughs> well get in the truck oh. at the sale yesterday uh, my cousin works at this dealership. He came over and was telling me about this combine. And I told him he might come over and look at it. I'm not going to say anything about the story of the machine or anything about it just yet. I'll wait and see what happens. But either 1300 or 2300 hours I can't tell has the smaller grain bin extension which is all right choppers good overall machine is pretty decent and needs some work you know needs the skid plates poly skids put under the head and it needs hume reel boards which I happen to have I had to do some thinking on this um, kind of find out tomorrow 
do a little bit of uh, come up here tomorrow and talk to them about it. Uh, funny to see this machine sitting here and I know they don't want it sitting here. At all. That was sold yesterday. Set it to sale. How many of you are probably going to ask me why in the world? Are you even looking at that 4400? Because I've said I don't like them. And truthfully, I don't. I'm not a fan. However, when something comes along, Such as this 4400. Uh, if I, if information I have been given is correct, I'll just put it this way: a man would be a fool not to check into it. Man would be a fool not to buy it because simple economics. What I've been told is correct. Um, I can get this machine very, very reasonable. So I'm going to talk to them tomorrow about it and see what they have to say. So we'll see you next time guys uh, I'll add some to the front of this or behind it I don't know yet but just hang on I'll be back